Hi friends, so this week's STEM challenge is an exploding art kit. Um, so let's talk about how to do that and then we'll show and then I'll show you guys how to do it. So art paper or watercolor paper, um, some Alpha Seltzer tablets, a film canister, and then two different containers of paint. Um, now you want to look at the lids of them. One is going to have a WD on the top of it, which means that it already has water mixed into it and you can tell the consistency is a lot thinner. And then one has nothing added to it. It's just regular water-based paint. Um, so the first time you do this experiment, you want to use the one that has WD on the lid of it that's already been watered down. Um, and then you can get in kind of um, take the experiment where you want to go with the one that has nothing added to it. Um, so essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take your paint that's already been watered down and then add it to your film canister. Um, and add in half a tablet of Alpha Seltzer, put that lid on, and put it lid side down on top of your piece of paper. Um, and then it will, um, reactions will happen and it'll it kind of essentially explode and splatter all over your piece of paper. Do recommend doing this outside um, so you don't get a mess everywhere because even though it is water based and there is more water in it, um, it still will make a mess. Um, so I will show you what an alpha seltzer looks like in just plain water and kind of that reaction that happens. And I will show you what um, exploding paint looks like. Um, so we'll do those two things now. Okay, so before we go outside, I want to show you what an alpha seltzer looks like in just plain water. So in my little film canister, I have it about halfway full with water. I'm going to take half of a tablet of alpha seltzer and put it in there. So you can see all the fizz, ooh, all the fizzing and everything that's happening. And so now let's go put some paint in it and go outside. what's happening is as that alka seltzer tablet fizzes um, and because we had that lid on it um, and as it fizzes it's releasing carbon dioxide and pressure is starting build, to build up inside of that film canister and so what happens is is once that pressure builds up so much that it has to do something it explodes and it pops off and so the height of the um, liftoff and how far it explodes is essentially related to how much pressure has built up inside of that canister. 